Create stylish markers for your garden plants using paint stir sticks. So you can use used paint stir sticks that have paint on them or new ones, or um, you can actually buy like sets of them online and I'll have links to that on my blog. So here I have some new paint stir sticks from Home Depot and I'm using some Thompson's water seal to stain them. I actually used some of these um, to stir the water seal for a fence project I did in my backyard. Um, so here I have my Sizzix Eclipse 2 software. This is the Ecal Light software. And I'm typing out the names of the different herbs and plants that I want to put on my plant markers. And the font I'm using is called Barcatino 1. And the reason I like this font, you can get it at dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com for free, is that the letters are, um, connected so like the little part on the middle of the R is actually connected down below. It's a very good font for stenciling and for vinyl because there are less pieces for you to remove and move around. So I've um, typed my first word and then I'm just using the duplicate um, button in the software to create 10 of these words. That way I can just do all 10 of my um, plant stake markers at the same time. Once I have those all typed out, I'm going to click the vinyl setting, load the mat, and go ahead and set that to cut in my software. I also made sure that these words were about an inch tall because the plant stakes are about an inch and a quarter thick. You're going to need to measure your own plant stakes to see how thick they are. So I used some scissors to cut apart all of the words on the vinyl, and then I used some tweezers to weed out the letters. So weeding is where you pull out the parts of the vinyl that you don't want so that it just leaves the stencil. Then I peeled the stencil off and put it with the little tiny pieces that go in the middles of the letters um, onto my plant stake. And this was just something that I eyeballed. So you can be more exact if you want, but it came out pretty good. I have some of this new Martha Stewart um, vintage decor craft paint from Plaid, and I just used that with a stencil brush on my um, plant marker there through the stencil, peeled off the vinyl, and then let those dry. Once they were dry, I used some spray Thompson's all-purpose water sealer to seal these again because the, the stained part is going to be fine, but the painted part is not sealed. So just a light spray with that, let that dry for a few hours, and these are ready to go. And you can check the waterproofing by putting some water on them to see if the water beads up. I hope that you enjoyed these stylish plant stakes and that they will help you keep your garden organized. Please click any of these little videos that are playing so you can see some of my other projects, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye!